this generous binary laser cannon never stops shooting and that is a cool thing although it gets very hot over time hi friends i'm ttb welcome back to german engineering today with this uh, beautiful new loyalty agenda that has a set of quirks that allows us to do well this with a binary laser cannon but you only get one weapon so better make those shots count let's go critical If I go up there, I could be unbelievably annoying, but also unbelievably shot at. So... Huh. Huh. Do I dare? No, oh, I don't Fuel have enough juice in that thing. Maybe I need a jump jet. But I can't afford it. It costs too much cooling. Alright, I've got to be careful now. No. No! Oh, I, I, I walked the wrong way. My ass went another way. Wait, where the hell? Target spotted. Thanks. They're all going Death Valley. All of them. Alright, um, I'm not gonna go behind them because they're gonna be on the corner waiting to shoot me. So we'll go here and fight from here. This is a much safer corner, I think. Not gonna do much damage at that range though. It's almost out of range. And the enemy team has a sniper with PPCs up there, of course. Of course you got a PPC sniper in range. Okay, well, um Change of plans. Gonna go here. Holy fuck no. No 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 no. Don't go Foxtrot 6. They're around the corner with three or four mechs. I was pushing Lombo, he's currently alone. I won't stay like that for long though. Can I get an angle on him? Burn, baby, burn! Burn, baby, burn! That's a 6, Echo 6, careful. Got an awesome coming out the corner. All right, buddy, the shadow cat. Stop being annoying up there. Ah! Oh, he likes to be annoying, apparently. It's a shtick. All right, um... Let's go this way. Delta 6 can come in, guys. Turn to face. Let's get him down. Legs on the hell, bring up. Hellbringer's legged. Give me that sight, torso boy! Woo! I'm cooking myself, but I killed the Hellbringer as well! Atlas from behind, Echo 6, careful! Come on, let me mark this guy. I can't cool myself right now. I'm killing myself for heat. This guy is also completely unknown. Uh, moving. Let's go. By unknown, I mean unknowing what's going on. Like ignorant. New target acquired. Oh, I just got drag fives. I'm not afraid of that. What I'm afraid of is melting myself. That I'm actually afraid of. Got the Atlas again? No, it's a fresh Fafnir. Leave my fresh Fafnir Fox 6, careful. Where's that Warhammer going? I can actually engage the Warhammer, I think. I go here. Who put that fucking rock there? I'm killing Fox Trot. Will you die? Alright. He did. My max to geriatric, I can't bend that far. 
No problem again. Give me that side torso, boy! There we go. Now we take the other side torso, boy! And he's a stick. Crusader and Fafton from behind, Echo 5, careful. Ay, 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 these guys are fresh. Okay. Oops, I fell down. Don't, don't, don't fall down. Go up! Ay, ay, ay. Damn it. Where am I going? I'm going to move. There's a summoner here as well. That's the Marauder pushing. We don't care about him. New target we care about this guy. Fuel at 25%. Who's got large pulses? Okay. Who's gonna chase after me like a dum dum now? Of course, they have dum dums everywhere right now, so that's a problem. Target I don't have targeting. Oh, hello, summoner. Do you die? Okay, I suck. Got him. You will never get me alive! <laughs> Not a bad match for us. There was a lot of blissful ignorance on the team. Three kills, one game did 824 damage done. And 10 components destroyed. Plus a little bit of UV stuff. It's a good mech if you have the ability to actually find the red guys and shoot them. GG. Alright, we're a little bit slower now. We move the speed trick, so 120. 129, that's the fast enough. But this feels more snappy now. This is with, without arm lock on. This is with arm lock on. So with arm lock on gives you a little bit less movement. But it gives you this weird, like, I don't know, aim point. Check out the five. Negative. Oops. It's got a Phoenix up next to it. Can't move any further now, right? At this right now, I'm completely alone. Yep. Okay. Let's get out of here. I got way too many friends right now. Because the enemy team read my name, and they were like, oh yeah, it's TTP, everybody chase after him. Freaking squirrel chasers. Alright. We'll rejoin our teammates. Should be fine. My target enemy is M Atlas. Going forward. What are we shooting at here? Oh, hello. Nice. Uh, 900 meters. I'm not going to do any damage to him at this range. Target. 700. That's better. Alright. Time to cool down. Well, this is a nice little nook and cranny right here. A little bit of dancing in here. There's another guy up here. Okay. Ow! Thanks! Almost killed me, dumbass. 
Ay, ay, ay. It's all darkness. Go back a little bit further. Next to the Kodiak. find a different angle here. Target spotted. Hmm. Lasers spotted. right there. Need New target acquired. Okay, some nice damage in there. I need to be so careful here because of the back shot I took from the teammate. Here comes the skill, here comes the enemy. Because our guys are not moving, so let's move away. Oh fuck, I jumped over. That could have easily killed me. That was close. Nope. I'm literally one shot right now. Oh, almost one shot if I stand still. So gotta be very careful what I'm doing. <laughs> Prince Boyle, thank you for the two months. Uh, this guy's at 800, I can't really engage from here. But what I could do maybe is pop a UV here. Which they won't see, but I will get some target info, hopefully. Nope. for me to crossfire here right now. Where the hell are they even? One guy's behind us. It's probably the light from before. Get the hellbringer, I've seen them at least. There's two assaults over there now. That's not gonna help us. That's the Atlas. I'm stuck. Good. It's not looking good for us. Still one kill behind the Orion is one shot CT. That in mind, there's also this guy right here now. And I have opened the chat because I'm stupid. CT on the blackjack. I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck. Oh fuck. Hey, laser vomit. go finally whoa this guy it's funny that I'm pressing target button or the target right in front of me and it targets something in Timbuktu that makes sense Fresh. My dude's fresh! New target acquired. Nightstar is not fresh though. New target acquired. Fuel at zero. Pretty much boned here. Oh, this guy's CT open. Nice. Is so the Nightstar down? Electric is one shot CT. Atlas is relatively fresh still. Target acquired. New target acquired. Fuel at 25%. Got him. New target acquired. Fuck! Why is he going this way? Oh god, and Shadow Cat, of course. Rip from the back. Ah, uh, there was another guy here. In the Jaeger mech. 
I don't know. I think our guys waited around way too long. Not a bad match for us, though. But still, once again, like, you shoot all this time, and you just don't do any damage with this weapon. Unless you're shooting in optimal distance. Three kills, one solo kill, two KMDs, five components. I think there's something wrong here, though. Like, it doesn't... Like, I, I feel I shot my weapon a lot more on target than six times. Uh, 60 times. Or 30 times, actually, because it's 19 damage. I feel there's something wrong with the damage calculation here. There's a lot of enemies over there. Let's get our nose down if possible. Boom, boom. So, I'm arriving two minutes late, but it's okay. There's an Atlas there. Can't push any further than this though. Stop melting the die rail. Ah, he's melting us back now. He's got nothing else to do, unfortunately. Target destroyed. But the Atlas is down at least. Flee, we need to go. Yep, right choice. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Yep, right choice. Target spotted. New target acquired. Where are they? Target spotted. Let's push with our swords over here, I guess. This guy's annoying back there. New target acquired. Target spotted. We are in the lead, though. That's good. Target spotted. Okay, we melted him a little bit. Time to go back. We have zero backup right now here. Come on! 98% Atlas! Move your ass! Ay, ay, ay. Fucking dumbass player. Still sitting up there with 98%. It's not looking good either, that's good. Perfect. Fall back, cool down. Maybe use a cool shot actually. Nice. I'm going, there's the Wolfhound still. Oh, where's this guy? That's lots of binary lasers. I don't really want to mess with that too much. But we have to get through it at some point. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Ah, the Atlas is still holding that corner. Immovable object! We'll find this one-shot CT. Target 
Is that explode? <laughs> okay, one target remaining. Oh, it's a big boy. Where'd he come from? Rip! Woo! All okay. All okay. But unmoving assaults at full health trigger me somehow. As an assault connoisseur, it makes me nervous. Three kills, one solo kill, 500 damage done, 10 components destroyed. All this shooting, all this melting for 500 damage, that's kind of sad. Well, those were a couple of interesting matches that showcased the strengths, but also the weaknesses of this mech. Let's talk about them in a second. Let's talk about the build first. It is on screen right now, as you can see, We're running an XL engine, 280, three jump jets, and the binary laser cannon with two extra double heat sinks, and we're lowering the arms a little bit to fit all of that. Now, the way this mech works is, of course, in the quirks. We get 20% overheat damage, which is really nice. We get some survival crooks, some extra armor on CT uh, and legs, left torso, right torso. Um, no armor on the arms, unfortunately. But if you look at the CT, for example, we have 73 CT armor on this light mech, which is on par, I would say, with an urban mech. So that is a fairly tanky Jenna. But the meat of this build is, of course, in the firepower tree. 50% flat cooldown, so that applies to any energy weapon that we can put into this mech, and we only get one energy hard point. So the way that you use this mech is you have to use basically a heavier weapon because otherwise it's just a total waste. So you can use something like a snub nose PPC, heavy PPC, ER PPC maybe, large pulse laser, large X pulse laser, ER large laser, large laser, binary laser cannon. Those are your choices. Anything below that is going to feel like you're just carefully caressing and cuddling your enemy. You're not going to do any damage with it. So... 50% cooldown, that is of course working on all the energy weapons. Then we get 49.9% laser cooldown, which means that if you just use a laser, that is any laser, that would also apply, for example, to a large pulse laser. No cooldown. It shoots, and once it's done shooting, it immediately shoots again. And uh, we have 20% laser duration. Now, this is a plus 20% laser duration. That means that, for example, your binary laser cannon... If it has a duration of 1.25, 20% on top, 0.25 or so seconds, is added to the duration. But, of course, you can combat that with the skill tree, grab yourselves the laser duration tree, and that gives you 3.75% laser duration per point that you grab. And if I can find it in the list, I can tell you that we get 15% laser duration reduced from this. So, 15% reduced. 20% on top, if this is additive, we should get just a 5% increase in duration, which is fine. You won't even feel that. Now, this is how this mech works. You get one continuous beam, as you could see from the binary laser cannon, that does some nice damage, but it also heats up very quickly. Uh, we've tried it with the large pulse laser as well, that is also promising. The large X pulse laser actually ended up being very interesting. You're doing a lot less damage in the binary laser cannon or the um, large, X, large pulse laser. That is because the large X pulse has a very low cooldown already, um, but the duration stays the same. So, unfortunately, there's, there's not much changing there. So, we found that the large X pulse doesn't really get too much out of it. It's shooting nice, but uh, it also doesn't generate much heat. So, maybe that's some, something for people that have a little bit of trouble aiming. But for me, personally, if you're going for lasers... Binary laser cannon and the large pulse laser seemed to be the best performance. We're going to go ahead, of course, and try that out over the coming weeks and months. Now, how to play this mech? Here is where the danger is, guys. In order for this mech to do any sorts of damage, your team needs to be engaging the enemy because you got to be out there. you got to expose at least this much of your mech right here. Pick around a corner from the right side. Shoot there, shoot over a hill, jump jet or whatnot, but jump jets are a little bit of a problem because you're going to try to get your shots in target permanently, right? Because you have one continuous laser beam, basically. So, like I said, you want your teammates to be engaged and you want to be helping to amplify damage on those targets. What this build really sucks at is to be alone or to try and flank when your team is not engaging because that gives the enemy team time to look at you and shoot you. And they're going to have laser vomit, they're gonna have PPCs, they're gonna have hags, they're gonna have gauss rifles, they're gonna have auto cannons, they're gonna have missiles, whatever. The difference to your weapons is, these weapons hit you like that. Whereas you're going pew, pew, 
pew and you're staring at the target all the time. So that is why your teammates need to be engaged. This mech is nice when that happens and feels like utter crap when it doesn't happen because you're not doing much damage. You, you go around the corner, you get one shot in, you have to go back. That's, what, 18 damage? If you're shooting at, at good range, it is, so at around 500 meters or so. So, like I said, you need to have, to have your team engaging with the enemy and then you can have some fun with it. But as far as like being competitive or whatnot is concerned, I would say it's, it's on the weaker side of things. It is a brutally staring mech with some benefits. It's definitely unique. It's fun. Is it super competitive or instantly strong? I would say no. Go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think. Does it have a gorgeous paint job though? My hat's off to the designers. Have you tried a new Loyal Jenner yet? Let me know what your results were and what the best builds were for you. Also, of course, thank you so much to my beautiful supporters. Guys, I couldn't do this without you. And if you're right there, are not a supporter yet and would like to become one, check out the various links in the video description. For example, the link to Patreon. You can head on over to the merch store and grab yourself something nice. Use the code Black Friday for 15% off during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday week. Or, of course, you can hit the Super Thanks button or the channel join button right here on YouTube. Whatever you do, thank you very much.